All right, let's do number three from version one of the chapter one test. Okay, remember, make sure you're looking at the right test because there are two versions. Okay, so we've got uh, two points on the line x equals negative two, and they're 10 units away from the point six, three, and our goal is to find where those coordinates are. So let's graph x equals negative two here, right there. So uh, let me do that in a different color. So let's choose uh, blue. So x equals negative 2. Find negative 2 on the x-axis. And remember, it's not just a point. It's a full line. So i got to go straight up and straight down for x equals negative 2. Let me make that a little bit better. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's go dot it. There we go. Okay, so there's my line, x equals negative 2. Uh, let's plot the point 6, 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, right about here. Okay. Uh, and then, so we need to be 10 units away. Now, so the first step is really, if you remember these examples that we've done in our notebooks and in class, and there's also another YouTube video that's related to this, is uh, we want to go straight across first, just figure out how far we are from the actual line. And when you go left and right, only the x values change. So 6 right here to negative 2 over here. So if you do big minus little, 6 minus negative 2, we get 6 plus 2, which is 8. So this guy's 8 units long. Okay, which means 10, and on the line, would have to be slanted over this way or slanted over that way. The only problem is we're not really sure where it hits yet, so we're just kind of estimating, right? So 10 here, 10 here. But we can calculate where those points actually are, and then if we wanted to, we could change our picture at the end. So um, I'm going to call, in green here, I'm going to call this part B. And this part is also B because it's an identical triangle just flipped over here. Right. Okay, so uh, let's solve for B. And if you think about it, it's a right triangle that I'm staring at where this is B, this is 8, and this is 10. So, And since it's a right triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So B squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. And if we work this out, B squared plus 64 equals 100. B squared, when I subtract the 64 from both sides, will be 36. So B has to be 6. So this is 6, and this is 6. Um, so now when we think about it, really 6 isn't our answer because we need coordinates, right? So if you, if you think, well, we're at 6, 3, and we go 8 units that way and 6 units up, and that's the same thing as going 10 units slanted there. So if I'm at 6, 3 and I go 8 units over, let's actually figure out where that point would be right there. So just going over the 8. So when I go over the 8, the only thing that changes is the x's. And so I s subtract the 8, or I even notice everything on that blue line has to be x equals negative 2. So it's negative 2, and then the y's don't change, so I'm still at y equals 3. And then i got to go up 6 from there. So when I go up and down, only the y values change. Since I was at 3 and I go up 6, I'm going to add 6 to that. And negative 2 stays the same, and 3 plus 6 becomes 9. So negative 2, 9. When I go down 6 units to get to this point, I'm going to have to subtract the 6 from the 3. So I'm going to go negative 2, and then 3 minus 6 will get me negative 3. Negative 2, negative 3. Okay, hope that helps.